Hey, everybody. This is Pastor Randy Scott with Iron Faith Fellowship Church. for the morning tidbits this morning. Hope all is well with everybody on this beautiful, brisk Friday morning already. My goodness. October 1st. October 1st. Uh, uh, man, how time flies, isn't it? Man, when you're having fun, time just seems to fly right by, and that's amazing. So anyhow, just uh, good to see everybody this morning. Hey, uh, Charlie Reber, good to see you this morning. And uh, hey, Charlie, just want to let you know this shirt is green. It's not gray, it's green. And uh, just, <laughs> I thought you'd get a little chuckle out of that. Give me, hold on one second, everybody. Hold on one second. Hey, Dina. All right, pardon me. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Forgive me, forgive me. Uh, that won't cost you any extra credit. <laughs> I just want to let you know. Oh, my goodness, Alexa was going off, and I don't even know why we have one. But anyhow, uh, that thing is aggravating as far as I'm concerned. I don't know how anybody likes those things. Uh, just another thing. Uh, Roseanne, good to see you. Mark, uh, uh, I think Michelle probably is on here. Margie, uh Oh, Buenos Dias. Yeah, Michelle, that's the, only, that's the only one I know, and that's only because you put it on there. So anyhow, let me know where you're from this morning, and I uh, uh, want to talk to you about, uh, yes, she is, Charlie. You know, uh, uh, man, we don't know what's going on in heaven, but I know they're having a glorious time, and and uh, uh, in the presence of the Lord, uh, uh, it's just uh, amazing. We can't even imagine. Can't even imagine, but, but one day, but God, one day, you know, he's preparing a place. And has prepared a place for us. So and that's not even what the tidbit's about. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, weeds or seeds, weeds or seeds. I'm going to talk to you about that. Weeds or seeds. You know, whatever you plant in your mind, okay, you're planting either weeds or seeds, okay? And uh, uh, hey, Rick from Arkansas, how you doing, brother? And uh, uh, let me go to the gardening part of it. You know, our ladies and guys, you know, that plant gardens or plant flowers even. Uh, what do you do? Uh, to keep a healthy garden and, and your flowers healthy and beautiful. Okay. When the weeds start growing up around them, you get rid of them. Why? Because the weeds will choke them out. Okay. And uh, uh, so we, we do a, a weeding process. You'll see people out, the farmers out there weeding, uh, you know, spraying for weeds. Uh, you'll see people out there with their smaller gardens out there working every day, pulling the weeds from around the, uh, the plants. Uh, so it doesn't take the nutrition away from them. Okay. That vital nutrition uh, that these plants need. So, you know, it, we weed it. Okay. Same thing with our mind. Same thing with our mind. We need to weed it and seed it. Okay. Or vice versa. We need to seed it, but we need to keep checking those weeds because again, they get in there. Amen. Uh, our thinking, what we get stinking thinking uh, is been a saying that's been around forever uh, in a day. And, uh, you know, we need to weed that thing out because we don't, if we don't do the weeding that we need to do uh, and our minds, guess what? It gets us in trouble. Man, the devil just just plops right in there and takes care of business. And we don't want that to happen. That's why we have to remind each other, you know, okay, we need to do a weeding process. And then we need to put some good seed in there uh, and help it to grow. And, uh, you know, the parable that Jesus talked about, the tares, weeding the tares, you know. Uh, the farmer planted good seed out there, but tares came up with that. And he said, well, an enemy has done this, uh, okay? And... Uh, so we've got to remember the enemy is out there working all the time. So we've got to be working on the garden of our mind all the time and putting good things in there. And we've got to remember that if we're, man, if we're thinking uh, 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 junk or hanging on to junk, you know, we need to come to a place where we, we got to let it go because we don't, it starts controlling us again, whatever you feed the most, okay, is going to grow the most in your life. And uh, you know, it's in the head, you know, it's in the heart. Uh, so we have to remember these things that, uh, you know, uh, the Holy Spirit's on the job all the time, too. And we forget that sometimes, you know, we, we give the devil a whole lot of credit uh, for doing what he does. But you know what? We got the power of the Holy Spirit. If you're saved, you're washed in the blood. You have the power of the Holy Spirit. OK, to take care of some business, do some real gardening. Amen. And, uh, you know, Jesus said he wouldn't leave us orphans. OK, he would send a comforter. And uh, uh, again, uh, sometimes a lot of our problems and woes come from what's going in that head of ours, you know, uh, uh, what's going in our heart. You know, David said in, in Psalm 1911, that word have I hid in my heart that I what, might not sin against thee. Okay. Uh, David was gardening. And guess what happened? When David stopped gardening, 
Okay. Using that, uh, is that a metaphor? <laughs> Help me out, Michelle. Is that a metaphor? Uh, when David stopped gardening, what happened? Okay. The weeds started to grow and he didn't deal with the weeds. He got complacent with the weeds. He thought he'd arrived and all of a sudden, man, he looks down and there's Bathsheba right there, man. The devil just, just knows what to do. And uh, I'm using that analogy because again, uh, uh, you know, uh, he'll put the right person in the right place in the right situation in the right place to throw you off, to deceive you, to, to distract you, to keep you uh, from doing what you need to do. But what did David do? David did not weed the garden of his mind. OK, he got himself in trouble. And then from there on, man, he let weeds grow and grow and grow until ultimately, OK, uh, uh, Nathan, the farmer, the prophet, uh, came and talked to him about his garden. You know, and uh, told him a little bit of story. And then uh, David realized that he needed to do some serious weeding before God. But again, when he didn't take care of the weeds, what happened? He got himself in some serious trouble before God. And that's what we need to understand. It's all about our relationship with him. Uh, that's important. Uh, so we need to get those weeds out, guys. We truly need to do. Uh, that's right, uh, Michelle. I put that up here. The Lord provided a very excellent therapist out there. I've been helped many times. Uh, professionally. Yeah. Uh, again, don't be afraid to, to, to seek help from your pastor, from therapists or people, good people out there. Uh, uh, talk about those things. But you know what? The greatest therapy, the greatest therapy in the world is the word of God. And when you eat it in and you hide it in your heart and you take it in there, guess what? God's the therapist. The Holy Spirit is the therapist. He's given us that. And sometimes we depend on our pastor. We depend on therapists, you know, to come up with those answers. And, you know, nine times out of 10, the answer's within you. The answer's within you. And you sit there and look when they're talking to you or whoever it is, and you go, wow, I should have had a V8. It's right there. It truly, truly is. But what happens is we let the weeds, uh, we let the weeds kind of take over uh, and throw us off. So we need that person to come alongside of us, okay, to help us weed that garden out, okay, to get the seeds in our mind going again and uh, help us get back on the right track. But let's go to the Word of God, Romans 12. I'm going to read verses 1 and 2, and I want you to read all of chapter 12. You read all of chapter 12. There's some gardening in there, okay? There's some real gardening in there, getting the weeds out, okay, and uh, how we're supposed to be. There's some real gardening points uh, in, in chapter 12 of Romans, so I would encourage you to read it. I'm just going to read the first two verses. Uh, but uh, read that whole chapter, and I mean, it should open your eyes up and uh, and help you out a little bit. But here's we go. Here's what we do. We start that garden. We get the weeds going. We gotta, you know, start working on a good crop. And here's a way to start. Uh, chapter twelve of Romans, verses one and two. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. I think that's pretty plain. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We praise you and we bless you, Lord, that you are the gardener. Okay. You know, we're the gardener. You're the gardener. And Lord, you remind us all the time. You've used uh, uh, metaphors in scripture. You've used parables in scripture. Uh, to share these same kind of things, wheat and tares and, and how weeds grow up and choke things out. And uh, so, Father, you remind us in your word of all these things. We just got to put it to practice. Uh, we've got to, to bring it in, uh, Father, to, to the garden of our mind, Lord, to clear out the weeds, uh, to get a good crop going. So help us, guide us, and lead us, and direct us. Help that one person out there that's so struggling, Lord. They don't know he's Lord and Savior. Father, they're full of weeds right now, and they need to be forgiven. They need to be clean. Father, as only you can do that, Father, that they would come to you today as Lord and Savior, surrender their entire life to you, Lord, and, and Father, start the gardening process. Lord, we thank you again. We praise you. This is a day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And Father, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys, you have a blessed and wonderful day, weekend. We'll see you Sunday morning. Okay, Sunday morning. Uh, at 10 a.m. at Iron Faith Fellowship Church, uh, prayerfully believe we'd love to have you there in the in the physical sense. Okay, 801 Darley Road, 19810, Wilmington, Delaware. And uh, uh, for our fellowship service, we do a live stream. We've been doing live stream for a long time, uh, but we'd rather have you join us live if you can. If you can't get us, uh, you know, like I said, we're, we are live stream. 
Uh, Monday morning, uh, uh, be taking Monday morning uh, uh, off. Uh, we have a, uh, an awesome homegoing uh, service uh, for Cheryl, our sister Cheryl Reba. Uh, Reba, pardon me, who's gone home to be with the Lord. And uh, so, uh, but I will see you Tuesday morning, Lord willing, uh, for some more tidbits. So we love you guys. Be blessed. Hey, Norma, how you doing? It's on the phone. Good to see you uh, this morning. Good to see everybody. Michelle, good to see you. Uh, Cousin Nora, Rick, everybody. You guys have a blessed, awesome day. And we'll see you soon, Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. for some more morning tidbits. Or 10 a.m. Sunday morning at Iron Faith Fellowship Church. God bless. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.